Chase and Victoria, as you choose to commit marriage today, you are announcing to the world that you are not doing life alone. You have one another. And now we look to celebrate their unique oneness together. Dear Chase, it's mind-blowing to think about all the moments that led us to this one. We are getting ready with our most favorite people for the most important day of our lives thus far. I thank God that he brought you along my path and I thank God for you every day. You've taught me so much and I can't imagine my life without you. I love how supportive you are in the life we are building. Please know I always want the best for you and I am your number one fan. Love you and let's soak all the moments in today. Love, Victoria. Amor, our day is finally here. We made it. What a journey it has been. You continue to amaze me with all you do. You are so caring and loving to everyone in your life. I am beyond blessed to be able to call you my wife. It is something I will never take for granted. I love you to the fullest. I'm more yours forever, Chase. <laughs> I'm trying to get through that without it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I get a kiss? Love you. Love you too, baby. Oh. Oh, Good. Good. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You look great. Thank I you. Love. Came together good? Oh my god, you're amazing. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> yeah. It has always been my dream as a big sister to see my beautiful sister get married. Not only really to get married, but to really find a life partner. Um, one who she can call her own. One who she can call her equal. And one who she can find peace with. And that is Chase. Victoria and I used to live in San Diego and we would go to poetry slams and one of our poets um, dear to our heart is Rudy Francisco and I'm gonna butcher it real bad but one of his phrases was I only surround myself with I only surround myself with 
people that are sunshine. That is vague as a quote, but that is Victoria. Um, to me, she is sunshine and she is warm and she is fun loving. I've been praying for this day, for her to be at peace with a partner for a very long time, and I know a lot of us also have been having that same prayer. And um, for us, Chase is a very patient, loving, fun-loving, sunshine human himself. And so together they go very well hand in hand. As all of us are here, uh, we know that. We wouldn't be here if we didn't want to celebrate and honor them. And so I'm very happy to stand here to honor them both and to celebrate their love together. And I'm very, very happy to see um, the life that they are going to lead and love together. I could speak many stories, but I think that's all I want to say today because we're here to celebrate their love and we're here to celebrate them. And um, we all really appreciate that they don't just speak words, but they show and they demonstrate their love for each other and for everybody here. And so to that, I raise a toast to the happy couple um, for years of peace, for years of love, for years of challenges together, but also overcoming and moving forward. And I will always love both of you as all of us do as well. So cheers to the happy couple. Chase and Victoria, on this day, we celebrate how God's grace shines in each of your lives. As you choose to commit marriage today, you are announcing to the world that you are not doing life alone. Victoria, looking back on our journey, it is amazing to see how far we've come. The stars aligned for us to meet each other at one of our favorite DJs in one of our favorite cities of San Francisco. We had a short dance, a few laughs, and a quick picture. Little did I know what this picture and interaction with this warm, bubbly, silly girl would turn into. That night, my phone died, so I didn't get your number. I thought you might have been the one that got away. But luckily, two days later, while driving home from work, I got a text from that same warm, bubbly, silly girl. I feel our commitment to each other defines what our relationship is. We had the distance between us, different life plans, but we continue to stay true to each other and look at us now. We are both educators, teaching and guiding the youth in our community, and we just bought a beautiful home together. Our life is being built before our very eyes, and I cannot wait to see what the next chapter holds for us. Victoria, I promise to be your honest, faithful, and loving husband for the rest of my days. I promise to always be your dance partner and dance like no one is watching. I will happily make your coffee every morning and get your late night snacks while you watch your reality TV. I will take your hand and stand by your side in the good and the bad. I dedicate myself to your happiness, success, and smile. I will love you forever. I vow to always protect you from harm. You make me laugh, you challenge me, and above all, you make me happy. You are my one and only today and every day. Victoria, I love you. Dear Chase, the month of July will always be one that has changed my life completely because of you. It was this month, five years ago, that we decided to embark on a relationship. And then, one year ago in July, you asked me to marry you and be your life partner. And here we are, one year later after that, gathered here to promise our lives to each other in front of God and the people we love most. You supported my dream, my happiness, and became my rock through my adventures and challenges. I love you because you are my home. I love you because you want the best for me and you bring out the best in me. 
I love you because while we are our own individuals, we make one another's lives so much richer. I promise to love you as long as I live. I vow to commit to you and to choose you. I vow to cherish the good times and the struggles that we will push through. And I vow to be present and stand by you through it all until God calls us home. I look forward to the life God blesses us with and the experiences that will teach us how to love one another and grow together. I love you, Chase. For as much as this man and this woman have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and these witnesses and have declared the same by the joining of hands, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen and amen. You may kiss your bride. It is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Chase Callahan. All right. It's been an amazing celebration thus far, right? And for those of you whom I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, I'm Cody. <laughs> now you know, this is the face behind the name, behind the stories that you may have or may not have heard. Only half are true. All right, it was 28 years ago. No, I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> Chase and I have known each other since elementary school. And to put it in perspective, that's kind of like uh, before the first Harry Potter book. Before Nintendo 64, you know, before the first Pokemon card, but we played with all those and read that book. Um, man, I mean, we've explored, imagined, adventured, um, just really run them up. And a lot of faces in this room have witnessed those antics. That's right, bang, bang. And a lot of people know that just up the road in Santa Cruz, it was Chase who boldly jumped out in the face of an irate adult, yelling and screaming and chasing some innocent high schoolers. If you want to know the full story, catch me offline. Uh, but that's who Chase is. He's the best friend anybody could ever have. And you know, now, he's yours. So, you're right, off script. <laughs> so, you know, take care of him. And take care of each other. It's true what you said in your vows, but Chase is the most selfless, you know, caring person in this room that I know currently. And, you know, it's a big thing. And there's a big family here. And everybody's watching. So don't mess it up. But uh, yeah, thank you both for having me in your lives as much as I'm happy to have you in mine. And you know, there's more adventures to come, right? Hey, Chase and Victoria, going on the record here to say we love you, we believe in you, and uh, this is a great day, and it's going to be greater every day from now on. All right, signing out. Chase and Victoria, you know we love you, but fuck, I hate both of you so much. Just kidding, I love you both. Happy you got married. Congratulations.
That was that was the devil. But you know what? Have you both have a great life. Hey, Victoria and Chase. This is your Theo and Thea, Paul and Bernice, and we love you guys. We're so glad uh, for you. We've been looking for this forward to this day, and we're glad we're here. It was a beautiful wedding, and we love you so very much. And we know that each day, seeking the Lord, your life will just be just more beautiful each day. Again, we love you. It's really heartfelt that we have all these people in this room. You guys are the closest to us, the most important to us. So thank you to all. I mean, we, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And this has been, yes, enjoy yourselves. This has been amazing. And yeah, let's, uh, let's start get dancing, having fun, you know. So we appreciate you guys. And thank you. We love you guys. So thank you. Woo!